All right. Welcome back to Konosuba Anime Review, episode number 21. We are here reviewing the 28th episode of the series, which is called... If I can get to it. An Eternal Rest for this Master's Lake. Excuse me. We saw Aeris basically acting like some someone who was on a stage proclaiming how to die. That kind of resurrected, except he's butt naked. And there is a reason for this. Apparently, this Hydra's acid dissolves clothes. And also, darkness is covered in it because she wanted to save Katsuma. And of course, they go home. Well, Megumi is carried by Aqua to get her reward. And after Katsuma and Dark is presumably clean. Of course, Dark is really weird in this whole episode. And that's not the fault of the writers. That's basically what happened in the book, too. <clears throat> Michael Kalu weary, and she's basically wearing clothes. Of course, Katsuma's naked. Now, no, Darkness is not coming to basically the bathroom. The, basically the bath to do whatever with him. They go to the Ventures Guild, where apparently there's a reward now for these silver-haired bandits. Who is actually Chris and Katsuma under mask. Yep. A 200 million, bar uh, 200 million berry on their heads. And then, of course, apparently Darkness was really itching to go deal with Hydra. And they try to tell him several times to stop this Hydra. At one point, you go, Darkness goes by herself. And, of course, Dark Katsuma basically has Aqua and Megamine try to stop her while he goes make some errands. And those errands being a lot of the Avengers from town basically do with this Hydra. And with the combined might, and, of course, they have one idiot who tries to take her all for himself. He gets eaten, but he gets basically saved by Yulene, who's there. Which, surprisingly, she's not here to challenge Megami to a match. For someone who's Megami's self proclaimed rival, yeah, this episode, like, in the book, too, this is complete random. It's like, oh, Yuli is here. For reasons. First time she's appeared in the series since the movie. Yeah. Complete, utter randomness. The fact that she just appears here just helps out. And... For some reason, still, she has not paid a visit to, to uh, Katsum's house for some reason. I mean, she's never gone inside. I think she's never gone inside once, or maybe by on lawn, but never inside the house for some reason. I'm not sure why. After the Hydra's defeated, they all come home, and they discover a letter on the table. One who wants to dinner, and apparently Darkness has left to go home. The reason is to get married. In the actual book, there was actually a whole scene where Katsuma, Megamine, and Aqua for Harry prepared dinner, and they were basically waiting for Darkness to get home. If it was getting cold, so they ate anyways. And she was gone for quite a while, and then they discovered, oh yeah, now then she left. They probably cut out the dinner thing, probably to speed up time, because in case you're curious though, like this episode did pretty much adapt the entirety of chapter two. Excuse me. But it pretty much basically like from what I can tell anyways, it seems like they got through a few pages. They pretty much stopped the page. They got to the like, like one, two, three, four. Basically about eight chapters, but, the, but with the exception of seen it, they they basically just started adapting chapter three, and my guess is they finished adapting it uh, next week for the show. Yep, it is definitely a good episode. Mm hmm. Yes, definitely. And also to ask, basically chapter sixty to seventy one, the manga. Yeah, and it looks like next week it's going to go from finish this chapter to chapter four. Uh, and then, of course, the one airing, uh, just British airing, that goes with the seventh of this book. And my guess is the... <coughs> the final episode of the season is going to be covering... Which, uh, I do have a, a name for the episode. 
Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, the final name of the episode is called God's Blessings for His Unchanging Days. Mm -hmm. Also with this particular episode, we have three more to go. And then that's it. I do appreciate, though, it's longer than the first season of the show, which that's good. But I kind of wish it was longer, given the fact we have a lot more books to adapt. We finish going through the movie, they only go through for like five books with two seasons and a movie. His season looks like we're just going through books six and seven. Which means there's going to be ten more volumes left to adapt. But, here's my hope though. I hope that God would not wait seven freaking years for season three of uh, four of the show. We do not need to wait that long. It is completely necessary. Like, I would suggest as soon as season wraps up, we adapt one of the air spinoffs. Like, how about the sequel to Explosions? Because that was actually really good. I enjoyed that one. It's only two books. You can cover that, no problem, for a sequel season. But that's all you can do for that one. And in case you're curious, is there a spin off of the series besides the Explosion one? Yes, there is also Consult to His Mass Devil. There is Bless Me, This Wonderful World. And there's also one that focuses on darkness and the character Dust. Yes, it's seven books. I don't see why this one cannot be adapted. I mean, you still have plenty of time to see spin off stuff. Yeah, in the case of Consulting Mass Devil, this one is probably just a mini series. That, or it could be like an anthology thing, per se, for this one. To get explosions, that could be just two, probably just a full season. Just have basically try to stretch out the books for like six episodes ish, or that you can do like a five episode season. Like, you probably do like a basically one more season that, and that's it. Uh, Bless Me, This Wonderful World, this one because it's six volumes. I'm guessing you can probably get a few seasons out of that. You can probably adapt all these books, no problem. The thing is, it all depends upon Studio Drive, the current studio who adapts the series, if we can get another season of the show. I hope we do. I hope when the season wraps up that we get an announcement of season four, because Kota Super is still popular. So... Here's hoping that uh, after one at the next few episodes we get a season four of it. Um, but there we go. By the way, so next week interesting. We're gonna see darkness wearing a wedding dress because, yeah, this is gonna happen. Why do I know that? Because that in this book, it is by far one of the. It's also the second time darkness has been married. Uh, who was the fiance this time? That who was attempting to marry her? Is somebody so obvious? I'm not gonna say who it is because he's like the main villain in the final few episodes of this very season. He was brought back purely be basically the main villain of these of these final episodes, which we have three left. And like, in case you're curious though, this book, book seven, has technically, in a way, it has. Five chapters, an interlude, and two epilogues. And a prologue. Also, as mentioned in the episode about, about Princess Iris, I think it's brief mentioned. I thought that was interesting. Yes. Um, but the actual page length of this book is... Like, if you don't count the afterwards... Oh, that's sexy. Because uh, I just saw Chris at the end. Um... This book is 192 pages. So, given the fact, basically, we're already on the second episode to adapt uh, this book in particular, it's probably not surprising. But, the one thing I was really hoping for the season to do is to not be 10 episodes, which, glad, slightly longer, but it should have been 20. It did not need to be 10 or 11. Like, What's wrong with that with more than two books? It makes no freaking sense. That, or maybe they could do a core two. That might be interesting, but who knows? Okay, so 
That's going to be pretty much that particular view. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn notifications, and do not hit the dislike button. Um, no One Piece tomorrow. Probably new shop of the manga if I review tomorrow, yes, but overall, four anime tomorrow, which that's a bit of a surprise. Thinking four. Don't usually have four of you on Sunday, anyways. Yes. But One Piece take a week off, so. Um, there's going to be a review for One Piece, yes, but not for the anime, just the manga. So, anime wise, it's just. Black Belt to death first, also My Hero, Rashuka Tensai, and Demon Slayer. And that's it. I'll probably start also tomorrow with Hammer 4Z. So, excuse me, Tio. So, tomorrow, bye.